Hello, happy Thursday. Okay, so I am getting comfortable because I got a lot of good stuff to tell you guys. Okay, so never claim to not be a dork. Uh, I have got some really fun stuff to share with you guys this week that has, it's just been making my week. I don't know. It's been great stuff. Okay, so the first thing, um, I have been talking to um, Andrea from Our Imagination, which is a clothing line um, that she sells on Etsy, and she is um, an artist and has collaborated with other artists to um, create this exclusive, exclusively designed uh, clothing line, and I love it. I love it. So they create like um, all their own designs and what is going to go on the fronts and everything. Uh, okay, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got from them. So the first one is this t-shirt. How, cu how cute is this little guy? I love him. He's adorable. Okay, so real quick tip. If you plan on buying the v-neck style, size up. One size. I'm typically a small. I had to get a medium. Um, and it fits great. So, and they're so soft. <laughs> I love them. They're so incredibly soft. And the second piece that I got, this one is really, really fun. I like this one. It's an off-the-shoulder shirt. Okay, real nice wide neckline. I'm sure you guys can tell how breezy this is. Like, do you, do you see this? Like, oh, this is perfect. Perfect. How cute is that? So it's called Fireworks Monster. I love it. I love, I love this design. It's really cute. And I'm loving this guy. He's so cute. I love him. Okay. And then the third one that I got, this one is going to be my best buddy as soon as it starts getting chilly. How cute. Okay. So the inside is that nice uh, sweatshirt material. I love it. So these are all by Our Imagination, and I'll link up to them below. Andrea is an absolute doll, and I have got some fun stuff coming up from her. So be ready for that. Be on the lookout. Um, that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you. Love her pieces. Love that they're all original, um, and they support emerging artists. I mean, it really... That's, that's really what our blogging community really is about, is supporting each other and helping each other out. I really think so. Um, I've really been blessed in the blogging community. <laughs> um, I haven't run into anybody that I wouldn't personally want to be friends with. <laughs> There's just so many amazing, talented people out there. It's just crazy. Okay. So second thing I want to share with you guys, um, I know it isn't fall, <laughs> and I know it's still like a million degrees out, I know that, but I'm a loafers kind of girl, that's just who I am, and I will wear these bad boys year round, I don't care how hot it gets, I found a new pair that I love, and I want to share them with you guys, how cute are these? They're like worn in and they're made to look like penny loafers. Okay. Yeah, that's a good color. There you go. <laughs> Everything in here always has like a red tint. I'm sorry. Um, this is the color that they really are. I can see it. Cute. Love them. I love them. But <laughs> one of the girls at Madewell had them on. And I totally made her take off her shoes so I could figure out what brand they were so I could go get them. I love them. They're by Crown Vintage. Boom. Oh, they're so, they're so comfortable. And they're leather. So that means that they're just going to get better and better with time. I love them. I have them on all week. And thank goodness that they're leather because... They're going to start getting kind of funky smelling after a while because it is too hot out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll deal with that later down the road. 
So that's the second thing I want to share with you guys. Love money loafers. Okay. The third thing I want to share with you guys. Um, so Jake is kind of a um, <laughs> coin. I don't want to call him a coin collector because he doesn't collect them. He's a stasher. He's a coin stasher. I have got coins all, all over my house, just random change everywhere. Um, I had this cute little bowl when you first walk in the door um, for our keys, and then it started overflowing, literally overflowing uh, with change. And he keeps it on his nightstand, and whenever I do the laundry, I'm constantly fishing it out of his pockets and out of the bottom of my washer and out of my dryer. I hate that noise. Change in the dryer. Oh, makes me cringe. Okay, um, drawers. I'll just randomly throw it in a drawer. I don't know. So he was good. <laughs> he collected all of his change because I think he realized I was done with the change. I was two seconds away from just vacuuming up all of it and just being done with it. Be done with the change. Um, so he collected all of it. And the other morning, whenever... I was sleeping in. <laughs> uh, he went up to Coinstar and cashed in all this change, and he really didn't think that he had that much. He didn't think it was necessary to take it out there yet. Okay, he had enough that we now are the proud owners of a Keurig Platinum. I love. <laughs> okay, I have been wanting a Keurig for probably way too long now. I don't know. I have a tendency to get kind of hooked on stuff and then. And I just want it. <laughs> so I'm a huge coffee and tea drinker. I, I, that's seriously all that I drink. Um, I try to drink water, but I need those little flavor packets to drink it. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm a tea and a coffee drinker. It's how I function. So whenever he surprised me and brought home this Keurig Platinum, <laughs> I was shocked and couldn't figure out why he why he got it <laughs> and he realized you know he told me that he took in all this change and that's how he uh, got it he had so much change so much change that he got a Keurig Platinum with it and he seriously thought he only had like maybe 20-30 bucks laying around and change I knew he was wrong I knew he was wrong I knew there was way too much change in my house to be normal I knew it. so I would show it to you guys but it's it's monstrous, so I'm not going to pick it up. But I will show you um, my favorite um, K-cups. Yes, K-cups uh, that we have found so far. Okay, number one, this one I'm hooked on. I love chai lattes. It's delicious. If you not, have not tried it, you have to try it, but always size down one cup because otherwise it gets kind of diluted. Okay. Cafe Escapes, chai latte, boom. Okay. The second one, um, Starbucks, just their medium house blend. It's yummy. So this is a very, very good, just basic coffee. If that's all that you want is just coffee. It's very, very good. Uh, Gloria Jean's butter toffee. It's yummy. This one's very good. This one, is very good with um, vanilla creamer. Mmm, so good. Okay, and I have one of those feelings like my Keurig is just gonna be absolutely used way too much as soon as it starts getting cool. Wait for it. Inkling in the air that there's a chill and that bad boy is gonna be fired up like every hour on the hour. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, while it's still nice and cold out, I have found this one. Um, Celestial Seasonings Perfect Iced Tea. It's Southern Sweet Black Tea. It's so good. I love this. Um, I drink a lot of uh, sweet tea. I'm in the Midwest. I don't know. I can't help it. Sweet tea. That's where it's at. Go get you some Southern Sweet Black Tea. Oh, um, This one's made to be brewed over ice. But I tried it hot the other day. Good. So good. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really excited for the rest of the week. It's already been this good. I'm just waiting. 
got to be some other good stuff. So that's all that I have to share with you right now. And I will talk to you guys again next week. And enjoy the rest of your week, okay? I'll talk to you all later. Bye.